Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR09. In this episode of our season with Greg Biffle's Super Duper Pooper Scooper number 16, 3 and 4, we're going to be doing race 30 of 36, the Amp Energy 500 at Talladega Super Speedway. It's going to be a 15 lap race, just like the first Talladega race was. Um, main goal is just to win this race because last time a caution came out and kept us from winning it. Uh, it's the fastest lap time with Dell and our junior at Talladega. I was definitely during some stream. Everybody always, always requesting me to race as Delanar Jr. at Michigan Talladega, or maybe Daytona. So last video got to the very end and got extremely pissed off internally because Facebook and Samsung apparently have this update that now makes the phone make noise even whenever you're recording video. Okay, so Tony Sword gets another pull and Matt Kenseth is starting second right next to him. Jimmy Johnson starting third next to Martin Drakes Jr. Paul Lennard starting in fifth next to Bobby Labonte. Uh, Carl Edwards starting in seventh next to Dale Lennard Jr. Dave Rubin starting ninth next to Dale Jarrett. So, yeah, both of the um, 44 UPS cars starting side by side. I uh, wish I was up there, up there to see that. That'd be awesome. Starting from the tail of the field behind Juan Pablo Montoya and Chip Ganassi's Reed Sorensen. The green flag is out and we are underway here at Talladega Super Speedway. Those drivers are both Chip Ganassi. Um, oh my god, back of the field gets a terrible start. I'm going to go into the middle because there's a gap right there. Go through this gap as well. This is terrible for um, legendary difficulty EA Sports. Why? Uh, wow. Kyle Petty took off from that little bump trap they gave him. And we've already made up 10 positions. And now we're losing positions because fourth gear is death. Damn it. Got that O'Reilly Auto Parts car right there behind me. Uh, 153. Now we're working with Walmart. Walmart Pharmacy. How can they have Walmart Pharmacy as a sponsor in this game? If Walmart Pharmacy is, you know, the, the drugstore. Certified drugstore. Why am I slowing down? I am drafting. This is... And now you're blocking me. You say you're in love with me, but you block me? This is... This game is dumb. Ah, we already all know that, don't. Don't, don't we? So we made up to positions in one lap. Of course, we did that before we came off turn two, and then it took some from us. So we'll just uh, try to move positions as fast as we can, try to get up front, try not to lose this race. We haven't won in three races. I would like to win this race so we can end that winless streak. JJ Yilly finished in the top ten last time, uh, seventh place, and now he's back here, and now he's wrecking himself. Well, you're the one that is blocking me and all kinds of stupid shit. I didn't even move. You just did that all on your own. Well, I'm not going to hold up. Oh, my God. Regan Smith, stop. <laughs> uh, this group of cars is pulling away from us. We're going to share a draft with Casey Kane. I can see Kurt Busch in front of him. He keeps um, not deciding between the apron and the actual track. It looks like we're going to make the top half of the field way before lap five, even though this track is longer than Kansas. Kind of weird. It's easier to get through pack racing in this game, I guess. Honestly, once you get front in this, get up front in this game, I think pack racing... What the hell did Jeff Burton just do? Pack racing is a lot better in this game once you get up front and everything. Whoa, Clint Boyer slowing down. Got to run on him. Oh my god, last race Clint Boyer had me pissed. He had me salty, man. Love this car. We already know that. This is one orgasm paint scheme, man. What? Well, I, I can't go anywhere. I'm going so slow that I'm just here stuck behind you. And you won't give me anywhere to go. Okay, so we'll just go up high and try to make some passes there. Should be possible. Got yeah, a draft on Ryan Newman. He's moving on the outside lane, so so should we. And now Dinger's getting in my way. Whoa, wait a second. Oh, wait, that was last race. I was just like, wait a second. Mark Martin's right here. Where did he come from? Yeah, Mark Martin started next to Regan Smith last race in the very back. Uh, yeah, what's this thing with teammates starting right next to each other right in front of me? It's weird. But, uh, yeah, we got Chip and Ganassi's teammates starting right in front of me this race. Dang, Mark Martin, you move. I remember Mark Martin had just the, weird se the weirdest start to the season. Like, he started on pole and got a DNF, then he started on pole and won. It's just insane. But now he's just in the middle of nowhere. 
Now we are working with um, a Red Bull car. Should be working with Dillon R. Jr. Is Dillon R. Jr. in his Amp Energy car, or is this game stupid for not actually allowing to race that paint scheme this time? Okay, so we're just gonna... Ow! Okay, we're gonna pass him. Michael Waltrip right next to him. Here's Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon just got right out of our way. Goodness knows why. Goodness. How can goodness know anything? Goodness is not even a person. Whoa. Alright, so we are in 13th position, making our way through the field pretty quickly, but remember this is a 15 lap race and we will soon be just one third complete. Uh, one third through the race. Move over, move over. Uh, just make him want to move over so I can have this guy strapped. John Wood in the 11th position. Uh, so yeah, the next couple of weeks we're going to be only doing NASCAR 09 for the Let's Plays. You know, Revolution Soccer's JC1424 Cup 2 has ended. Last game, um, I didn't have a person at all. A, a person? A person. A purpose in it all. Because um, we had basically won the championship by the time we had finished the 14th game out of the 15 games you have to play. But the last game was better than game 14, so at least it had it was really worth watching. It was a good episode to end off the series. I feel like the first JC1424 Cup was more consistent with a lot of better games. There were more games in the first JC1424 Cup, but I feel like the majority of the first JC1424 Cup was better. Alright, so we have just made the top 10 and everything, passing uh, whoever was behind Kevin Harvey. There's Delmar Jr. not in the Zamp Energy scheme. Game be dumb. JC no no why. Ah, Omanar. So there's Matt Kenseth. Tony Stewart's lost position, so is Matt Kenseth. Uh, John Wood is moving. I've actually been helping John Wood, by the way. Well, I need to get to Matt Kenseth, honestly. But Tony Stewart's in the way, and I, I can't get a run on him at the same time catching Matt Kenseth. John Wood is in the way of Matt Kenseth getting to the bottom. Over well, here, we backing up the lanes behind the lane behind me. Okay, get down, get down, McKenzie, drop them panties. You're all the way on the outside. Get down, strip man. Good job. Ah, uh, yeah, McKenzie. Okay, McKenzie is in the top five, and uh, we are pushing ourselves in the top five. Is the top fives? The top Pfizer. Uh, and. Uh, Mark Martin, Mark, Mark Martin Truex Jr. I don't know. He just cut off Matt Kinsley and almost wrecked us. Carl Edwards is in the lead. Ah! Uh, I wish Brad Keselowski was in this game, because I would totally kill my teammate for that. Because, you know, reasons. What is this bullshit? Why is Carl Edwards up here? When you start in the top ten, and you're somehow still up here. All right, let's let's try to have three of my uh, drivers on this team finish in the top three and all. Matt Kinsey needs to lead laps. Matt Kinsey led that lap just a while ago, didn't he? Where did Carl Edwards? I don't know. I'm just gonna block. Uh, who the hell is the finest? Yeah, Carl Edwards led the previous lap. Um, Dave Rudman's behind us. And his teammate, um, Dale Jarrett, is... Oh, God. Well, I'll just go ahead and get with him. Dale Jarrett's in 10th. All right. Get down pit road at 70 miles an hour. Just a little below that. So we're pitting with our teammates. Oh, my God. Wait, why did you slow down after you... <laughs> Stupidity. John Wood has the fastest lap. My lap time is right behind his. I don't know how Carl Edwards and, well, Matt Kinsey, yeah, but Carl Edwards, what the hell? Doesn't he usually start up front and then just finish in the back anyways? That's, this is unique. Whoa. I really want to win this race so we can end this winless streak, but at the same time, what if Carl Edwards were to win this race? I really don't know if I, if I want to at this point. Maybe I can try pushing him to victory and then instead of pushing him to his victory, I can lift him off into the sky. And he'll win the race anyways, because whenever you spin somebody and a caution comes out, they don't let you race to the line and all that crap. Interesting. There, there goes 
the two car of Kurt Busch. Mark Martin in front of us. Carl Edwards is behind us. I think Matt Kinseth is way back there. Maybe Matt Kinseth is up in front of us because he didn't come in pit road, but in front of Carl Edwards. Um, we're all the way back here. And we got a caution. This is for the same reason as last time. Also, we're in 30th position. Are we going to be a lot down because of that? Uh, do. Oh, look. An O'Reilly target sandwich. Why, why is it always the 41 car that gets butt raked by this stupid crap? And the same thing happened in Michigan. 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 So we came off. Well, I don't know if we're a lap down because of all that junk or not, but we're not pitting. We just pitted. Carl Edwards is behind us. I don't know where Matt Kenseth is. He said it was he was 20th line. There's Matt Kenseth. He's okay. He's a few positions in front of us. Carl Edwards. There's Carl Edwards. Wait, we're in seven. They had cars pit under caution. We're not a lap down. Cool. And Matt Kenseth is he in the lead? Yeah, Matt Kenseth is in the lead. Carl Edwards, go! Dingbat. He's Dingbat in this game, don't forget it. Go we'll get the Dingbat to win. Alright, so I guess things are still possible, you know, with us and Carl Edwards and Matt Kinsey and everything. I think that's Martin Trex Jr. up there trying to get past um, Matt Kinsey. Carl Edwards is pissed at us. Yeah, he's still pissed after us trying to help him at Richmond. Ah! Kurt Busch. I'm just going to share draft with them at the moment because um, I want them to be not pissed at me while I work with them at, here at Talladega. Didn't I talk about him um, being unpissed at us here uh, whenever we're racing at Michigan? I mean, uh, Richmond? Oh my god. I can't just do this anymore. Well, you won't pass him. You won't get your run. Go pass him. Oh my god, stupid Kurt Busch. Racing laps because of Kurt Busch right now. We could be going faster, but we can't because Kurt Busch. This is annoying. Why are you guys on the apron? And now Carl Edwards is wrecking because Kurt Busch! Kurt Busch! Stop! And now we can't get underneath Dale Jarrett because everybody's blocking us. Everybody wants to block. You guys are not going that fast. Oh my god. Carl Edwards, why do you keep hitting the brakes every time I try to bump you after? Your car's not limited to speed. Okay, Carl Edwards car literally does not is it's not capable of going fast anymore. You were leading with this car and all of a sudden it's limited to 160 something miles an hour. What happened to that 175 bullshit we were doing? Alright, here we go. We're gonna crack the top five with Carl Edwards and we're gonna go try to catch up to Matt Kinseth up there. I'm trying. This is a good Talladega race, way better than the first one, honestly, in my opinion. Uh so he stopped backing up his car. I don't know why he was a while ago. I mean, there was no one blocking him going through the backstretch last time. Yeah, there's um, Martin Trex Jr. up there. We're actually, we're not bump drafting with him anymore. We're just drafting him right now. Weird. All right. And we got another caution. I swear to God, if this race ends your caution, I'm going to be pissed. I don't know if Carl Edwards had gotten past Martin Trex Jr. yet, but... Now we're going to have to try to get Carl Edwards back up to speed again. And uh, Walmart's dropping their shit everywhere. See, there's no one to block him right now. Shit! Ugh! Now you're letting me pass you. I don't want to pass you. I want to work with you, but you're a stupid teammate. Matt Kinsley wins the race. He started second and finished first. He led six laps, giving him the most laps to lead. Should have not happened. Martin Truex Jr. started fourth and finished second. He led one lap. None of that should have happened. Carl Edwards started in seventh and finished third. And he led a lap. This should have not happened. It should have been so much better. I started 43rd and finished fourth. Did not lead me laps. That should have not happened. Kurt Busch started 27th and finished fifth. Del Jarrett started 10th and finished sixth. Travis Guapel started 16th and finished seventh. Ryan Newman started 19th and finished eighth. Mark Martin started 22nd and finished 9th, and Casey Kane started 29th and finished 10th. Alright, we have 10 lead changes in this race. Insane. Uh, our teammate Jamie McMurray finished 11th somehow, that's cool. 
Uh, Eleanor Jr. finished 22nd. He would have finished better if he was driving his AMP Energy car, but no, he didn't want to sponsor this race at all, because he's dumb. Darn him. Tony Stewart did not get a good finish after getting a pole. Uh, I think that's probably because of pit stops and he had to pit under caution. Uh, he led two laps. Dave Rudeman led two laps. John Wood led a lap. Um, where are the rest of our teammates at, though? David Reagan started 40th and finished 39th. Um, oh, yeah, Carl Edwards, duh. I was like, where's Carl Edwards at? Uh, this fancy driver, he laid two laps. How in the hell is that? It's weird. Was he like the last car to stay out? Was he the cause of the caution? Was that the 153 car out there? Um, Marcus Ambrose finishes 43rd in last place. No DNFs in the past few races. Okay, then. Alright, then. Ah. Uh, well, at least our teammate, our teammate Matt Kinsett won. That's cool. And then you got me. Right there next to him. Poor Carl Edwards. Well, I guess he gets points after doing so well in this race. Could have had more, could have gotten a win. I doubt he's moved anywhere from 40th after this race, though, because he's just been in such a deep hole between 39th and 41st. Next up is the Bank of America 500 at Lowe's Motor Speedway. It's going to be a 26 lap race, race 31 of 36. Um. We'll still be racing our main paint scheme in that one, and like I said in the previous video, or I think this one as well, we're going to race the uh, secondary paint scheme at Martinsville, because Martinsville is awesome. It's got to have something unique. Matt Kinsett is now 99 points behind me. Tony Stewart lost quite a few points on me because of his 26th place position, a uh, 26th position finish at Talladega. But Matt Kinsett Matt Kinsett catches us, so eh, there's benefit there. We still have one race in four races. I don't know about Charlotte, though. We almost didn't win at Charlotte, but we got past Tony Stewart. I remember that. So maybe we'll win at Charlotte. You never know. John Wood in fourth. Michael Walter fifth. Kurt Busch sixth. Clint Boyer seventh. Delano Jr. eighth. Dell Jarrett ninth. Brian Vickers tenth. Jeff Gordon eleventh. And Paul Menard in twelfth. And that's the chase. Elliot Sadler has moved from thirteenth to fourteenth. Disappoint. Uh, teammates, yeah, they're probably way back here somewhere. Jamie McMurray is in 31st position. Dave Reagan is in 35th. Man, did he lose like two spots or something? I don't remember. Carl Edwards, like I said, still in 40th position. And then we got all these teammates, as I called them last episode. Um, fantasy drivers, all this junk. I'm supposed to turn up the audio. Uh, the same song that was playing at the beginning of the video. I, I select two songs to play in the video, and they'll play the same song twice. It's it's dumb. I don't like it whenever stuff is dumb. Dumb sucks. But oh well. See you next time at Charlotte Motor Speedway, or Lowe's Motor Speedway as it's known in this game. That's that. And very stupid ending for an episode. Over.